Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we will be discussing about the Spark session. So you may have heard about the Spark session whenever you have gone through the Spark, con uh, Spark related concept because it is the entry point through which you can create your data frame. So it is very important that we should know that how to create a Spark session and without creating a Spark session, you will not find any project which is getting started. So it is very important and we should understand that how Spark session object can be created and what is the significance of it? What is the importance of this Spark session object? So that is what we are going to learn with this video. Before I start with the practical sessions, my request to you is please do like subscribe and share this channel. And if you are looking for Hadoop Spark training as well as Oracle debate training, you can reach out to me over my WhatsApp message or you can send an email message to me. We'll be definitely taking the real time Spark training. So let's try to understand about the Spark session. So as I said earlier, Spark session is the entry point of your Spark. So whenever you are writing down any Spark application, first of all, you need to create a Spark session. So which will give you a Spark object. And by using the Spark object, you can create your data frame. If you are using a Python, you can create your data sets also if you are using a Java language. So Spark session play a very, very important role. Earlier, Spark 2.0 now this Spark session has been introduced from 2.0 version only. When before the 2.0 version, we were having different different contexts were there. Like we were having Spark context were there through which you were able to read a text file. You were having high context through which you can connect to the hive. Then we will having SQL context was there. Let's say you want to write down some of the SQL queries. So different different context were there. Now what they have done in Spark 2.0, they have combined everything and they created a Spark session or you can consider that they have created one capsule which contain your Spark context, high context and SQL context. Everything will be included under Spark session only. So how to create the object of Spark session? We need to see it practically, right? So in order to create a Spark session, first of all, you need to import a package related to the Spark session. So let me show you one example over here. From PySpark.sql import Spark session. What I'm doing, I am importing one package Spark session. So Spark session I'm importing from the PySpark.sql. If you are not using this statement, you will not be able to create Spark session. If you are using console, like let's say you are using a console like PyCharm, uh, not a PyCharm, you are using some command line console, that time by default you will get a Spark object. And if you are not using, let's say you are using a PyCharm, okay, PyCharm or any editor, you need to import this package. So we have imported this package. And I have written one very small program through which I am creating one function. The name of the function will be get spark session. You can give any name. Basically your spark session will be created by using this syntax. Spark session dot builder by using a builder class. You can get spark object. And in order to run this application, in order to run this application, we are specifying master. Now what is this master? master is a resource manager so how much resource you are going to allocate to run this pack application so if it is a standalone machine let's say this is your personal laptop you need to assign master as local and the number of cores that you are going to assign if you are using your real-time production environment then master will be yarn most probably it is yarn yarn is a resource manager which will allocate the resource to this application, Spark application. What is app name? Every application, every Spark application, we will give some name, right? Because in real time Spark environment, there will be a lot of applications are running. So we should know that which is my application. 
if you want to know your application you need to specify one name so i'm giving my app name as learnomad example this is my application name and it is going to create or get get means if the spark session is already exist it will get it if the spark session is not exist then it will create it and we are returning that object in the form of spark now by using the spark object you can call a method called spark dot read dot let's say you want to read csv file you can read it the location over here but read dot csv file is only possible when you have spark object and how are you going to get the spark session object by using this method so this is all about the spark session and i hope it is pretty much clear if you still have any question queries anything please don't hesitate to write it into the comment section and if you are looking for hadoop spark training big data training you can reach out to me thank you and don't forget to subscribe this channel because on this channel you will learn a lot of lot of things and it will be a really good learning for everyone thank you